Corrosion of fasteners and steel connectors can result from any contact with water, especially salt water or caustic chemicals like fertilizer and pool chemicals. So virtually every application is subject to corrosion risks. At the top of the list of risks to non-stainless steel fasteners and connectors is the copper that's a common ingredient in treated wood. The steel starts to corrode when water in any form, even humidity, enables an ionic exchange between copper and steel. To slow or stop this corrosion, manufacturers will either coat the steel or offer stainless steel products. The most common anti-corrosive coating is zinc. It's long been known that zinc is an effective sacrificial coating, which means it freely gives up its ions to protect the steel substrate. In the fastening and connector world, the most common types of zinc treatments are zinc plating and hot dip galvanized zinc coating. Zinc plating is typically not a long-term anti-corrosion treatment unless the plating is mechanically applied. Most plating is merely done to keep the steel from rusting during transportation and storage. On the other hand, hot dipped galvanized zinc coatings are either applied to the steel coil at the steel mill before it's stamped and formed into hangers, or it's applied after fabrication in a manual hot dipping process. There are three classes of products on the market today with anti-corrosion treatments. Whether they're fasteners or hangers and connectors, they are first, zinc coated products, second, they're stainless steel products, and third, they're zinc polymer hybrid products. For zinc coated products, the thickness of the zinc determines the level of protection, and the product's rating depends on its compliance with ASTM standards. The zinc is physically applied by simply running the steel through or dipping the steel in molten zinc before cleaning it with air knives. Now, here's a review of the thickness and how it's expressed on the product label. For G90 zinc ratings, no matter who the manufacturer is, the 90 in the label means that there's 0.9 ounces of zinc applied per square foot of steel surface but this 0.9 ounces includes both sides of the steel. So each surface of G90 has 0.45 ounces of zinc per square foot. For G185 rated zinc coatings, these products have 1.85 ounces of zinc per square foot or 0.925 ounces of zinc per square foot per side. G185 is also known as triple zinc or TZ. As for hot dipped galvanized, strictly speaking, G90 and G185 are both hot dipped galvanized. But the term hot dipped galvanized has come to mean steel products that are dipped after fabrication. This hot dipped galvanized process is typically for steel hangers that require welding. So if you were to weld a zinc coated product, the surrounding zinc would melt off. So many heavy gauge steel connectors are fabricated from untreated steel and then hot dipped. Hot dipped coatings applied this way are typically coated with a thickness that can range from 1.2 to 2.3 ounces per square foot of surface. Now let's look at stainless steel. If you're building in a highly corrosive environment, like within a thousand feet of the ocean or near a pool or in an industrial area where there are chemicals in the air, you may want to step up to stainless steel rather than zinc coated steel. Stainless steel is a noble metal and that means that the steel molecules don't freely give ions in reactions with dissimilar metals. So stainless steel won't corrode. And finally, let's look at the exciting new organic polymer zinc hybrids. If you don't want to pay for stainless steel, but you want protection that exceeds G185, there's a new product branded as Gold Coat by Mitec. It takes a G90 zinc coated steel product and adds an additional protective organic chemical coating. 
Now this provides a product that offers performance that's between what you find with G185 products and stainless steel products, but at a much lower price than stainless. The protective top coat layer that's applied to a gold coat product is 10 to 12 microns thick, rich in aluminum, and it's resistant to both acids and bases. Let's wrap up with a word about fasteners and impact drivers. For fasteners, like nails and screws, always match the fastener to be exactly the same as the connector. For example, stainless connectors call for stainless fasteners, period. You never want to have dissimilar metals in contact as it will accelerate corrosion due to a process known as galvanic corrosion. Lastly, if you're using an impact driver, note that the repeated banging of the screw head as it turns can nick the anti-corrosion treatment, introducing an access point to the steel. Now, it's typically not an alarming occurrence because this is the head surface of the fastener and not the bearing surface. So generally, minor nicks and chips on the head of the fastener should be of little concern when trying to protect your connectors from corrosion. So that wraps up our coverage of anti-corrosion treatments, and this information should equip you with the knowledge that you'll need to read the product labels and make the right choices.